Ha ha ha, you thought this series was going away just because we had ourselves an NHL preseason and a regular season that is coming around the corner. No, we still have a few more of these that I feel are appropriate to go out there and converse about. This is the What Happened series, a series where we take a look at prior NHL draft broadcasts and focus in on what the NBC crew said about these prospects back when they were drafted. Particularly, we're going over player comparisons. We've already made a few of these videos talking about how the NBC guys compared 2019 draftee Kirby Doc to Ryan Getzlov. Philip Sedina back in 2018 was compared to David Pasternak. Kelly Yamamoto was compared to Johnny Gaudreau. And Cole Caulfield was compared to Lionel Messi. Today, we're going over to a player who was taken right before Cole Caulfield in one of the most debating, bamboozling picks of the 2019 first round. Actually, you could go out there and say that most of the picks before Caulfield were kind of that, but this is the guy that was taken immediately beforehand. Today we're heading over to the city of brotherly love and talking about Philadelphia Flyers 14th overall pick, Cam York. Now, just a little bit of background before we get into the entire comparison and what happened recently with Cam York and everything. Back in the 2019 draft, Cole Caulfield was supposed to be, in many people's eyes, a legitimate top-of-the-line pick. You had many scouting outlets going out there saying that Caulfield should be a top-10 guy, and furthermore to that point, many people were saying that if he was just a bit taller, he could have gone somewhere guaranteed in the top six, or maybe even the top five, Lo and behold, though, we all know he dropped to 15th. The Philadelphia Flyers, though, on the other hand, they had the 14th overall pick, that in which they actually traded down to from the 11th overall spot with Arizona. Arizona really wanted Victor Soderstrom, so they traded up to 11th overall to take him. Philadelphia traded down, and there was a viral video that was going around at the time of the draft of Philly fans in a bar going out there saying, yeah, when Spencer Knight went 13th overall to the Florida Panthers. The reason for that is because everybody was saying, wait a minute, Cole Caulfield's still available and the Flyers are on the board. You could see all the Flyers fans in the bar going out there and saying, Caulfield, Caulfield, Caulfield. And when the Flyers made the pick and they announced that they're drafting from the U.S. National Development Program, you could see for the split second, a lot of fans in there were like, yeah. And then they said Cam York and then they were like, wait. No, and there was some very, very audible frustration in that video because people wanted Caulfield. Now, Cam York, to his own credit, was probably a good enough player to go in this sort of range. Cole Caulfield just ended up slipping, which is why he was seen as the prize in many people's eyes. York at the time was the top NTDP scoring defenseman ever, which is not really too surprising when you consider that he was playing on probably one of the best junior teams that we've ever seen in hockey history, period. Zegras, Caulfield, Hughes, Turcotte, Boldy, York, Spencer Knight, this was a generational team. And Cam York went out there and had himself a boatload of points because of it. Sure, he kind of got a lot of assistance from the guys ahead of him, but he was still good enough to go out there and produce his own numbers as well. He was over a point per game, he had 65 points in 63 games played, had 11 points in 7 games for the World Under 18s, and his scouting report said that he was a highly skilled defenseman. York has impressive hockey sense and his overall skill level is high. Furthermore, he is very mobile, has a good passing game and a quick release. Defensively, he is solid with an active stick and strong positioning. EP Ringside said that his best attribute is his hockey sense. He can read the defensive zone incredibly well and anticipate plays well before they happen. HockeyProspect.com says that his vision complements his reads off the forecheck, making him one of the better outlet passers in this year's class. He utilizes his speed and his edges really well to keep a good gap while creating space for himself in the defensive and offensive zones, future considerations went out there and said. Pretty much, Cam York was an all-round, very offensively potent and smart defensively defenseman that was going out there producing a boatload of points and had a pretty solid top three-ish caliber ceiling. This is where we go over to the what happened part of the video as we go back over to the NBC broadcast of the 2019 draft. If you go over to the archive and you take a look at what the NBC guys had to say about York, they compared this guy to one New York Rangers superstar, Brian Leach. Now, I know what you're thinking, wait a minute, if the Flyers are getting a guy like Brian Leach at 14th overall, that's pretty good. I mean, the guy that went immediately after, Cole Caulfield, was compared to Lionel Messi, so I guess anything's possible, but... Brian Leach is a legit Hall of Fame defenseman, one of the best defensemen ever to play the game, period. He's one of the only defensemen to ever score 100 points in a regular season, 
And if you take a look at the report of Leech on Elite Prospects, because I know he's not a prospect, but this page does have some nice attributes over here. Leach holds the NHL record for goals by a rookie defenseman, scoring 23 in 1989 and winning the Calder Trophy. Brian won a Stanley Cup with the Rangers in 1994 and became the first American to win a Conn Smythe. The nine-time All-Star also won a Lester Patrick and two Norris trophies, as well as World Cup gold. Leach retired in 07 with 247 goals and 1,028 points, the second most in history by an American defenseman. And Leach maxed out at a 102-point season, but he had a lot of other seasons where he was getting 70, 80 points in the mid-90s. We all know how talented Brian Leach was, after all. But one of the things about Leach that makes him so interesting is that back when he was drafted in 1986, he had spent a year to go to Boston College instead of making the Rangers full-time. It took him two seasons after getting drafted before actually being a regular player in the lineup. He had 68 games played in 1989. The 1988 season saw him play only 17, which is why he was still eligible for the Calder the next year. For Cam York, if you go over to what York has done, after he was drafted, he had spent two seasons with the Michigan Wolverines, producing pretty alright in the first year and a lot better in the second. He capped off his Michigan stint with 20 points in 24 games played as a sophomore, signing later that year with the Flyers. He played eight games in Lehigh Valley, getting five points. He also was the captain for Team USA at the World Juniors, being under a point per game there, and he started out his NHL career with zero points in three games. Last year, though, he actually produced a little bit worse in both of the seasons. Now, sure, he had a point every three games in Philadelphia, which is pretty alright for a guy that's only 20, 21 years old, but in Lehigh Valley, he only had 12 points in 34 games over there. This season, you had yourselves Cam York trying out to make the Flyers full-time, but unfortunately, he got sent back down to Lehigh Valley just a few days ago. Now, based off of everything that I've seen from Flyers fans on my timeline analyzing Cam York's game, I'm personally not able to watch too many Flyers games because they don't come on here in Vancouver, Cam York apparently wasn't really all too great, and based off of all the opinions I've been seeing, the demotion to the AHL was one that York kind of deserved. His overall play wasn't really all too eager. He made a few mistakes. One of them led to a Casey Sezika shorthanded goal, and it was really bad. And, I mean, go look at the clip yourself. It was... Yeah, that was a really bad clip. But the good thing is, you can't go out there and say that one individual clip is going to define an entire guy's career. Sure, he might not have been all too great this preseason, but there still is a good profile of a player that lies behind all the external stuff. He's only 21 years old. So, he's got some time to really develop and hone his skills to become an NHL-caliber guy that gets the 40 or 50 points a season like people thought he would be able to get back when he was drafted in 2019. Now, I think that the Brian Leach comparison is a bit extravagant, to say the least. I mean, okay, if in two decades somebody looks at this video and is like, hey, look at Lego Rocks, he said that Brian Leach was not a good comparison, but Cam York went out there and just had a 100-point season, and he's in the Hall of Fame, then okay, I'll eat my words, and I'll say that the comparison wasn't really there. But I guess if you wanted to stretch it and say that everything that Brian Leach was capable of doing, really good at passing, just so mobile with the puck, and he could read the play so well, really good outlet passing ability too, I think anything that Brian Leach excelled at, a guy like Cam York could say, yeah, I want to incorporate those traits into my game because, I mean, of course, Leach is one of the best defensemen of all time. It's just, I feel like there's a bit of a difference in semantics here when you go out there and compare York to Leach because I think if York pans out to the absolute best that he could be, he's going to be a guy that plays maybe like Leach, but isn't really as effective as Leach. Like, if somebody told me back in 2019, oh, you know, York could get 100 points in the NHL one day in a season, I'd be kind of skeptical of that. I think maybe 50, 60 is a good max, maybe even 70 if you wanted to really push it in a good prime year, but at the end of the day, Cam York is what he is, and so far, I mean, he's a Lehigh Valley fan, I'm not a Philadelphia Flyer because he had gotten sent down, but he does still have quite a few years to grow and develop and mature into the defenseman that he can be, so let me know in the comments all your thoughts about York and where you see him going from here. We have a lot of Flyers fans on the channel because I had been making a lot of videos on your injury reports on all your players. Sean Couturier, thank goodness that he's alright, knock on wood he stays alright, but either way, if you're a Flyers fan, talk in the comments all your thoughts about Cam York and the play that he had in the preseason, the fact that he got sent down to Lehigh Valley, the one play on the Casey Sezika shorthanded goal, and the comparison that Cam York had to one Brian 
Brian Leach. I guess for a little bonus question, we could ask, what were your thoughts on the Flyers drafting York over Caulfield back in 2019? Those Flyers fans in the bar seemed pretty ticked off about it back then, but what were your thoughts? Talk to the comments your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishraj Rolls 99. And bye.